Today's topic is muscle fiber types. To understand what we're talking about here, we have to realize that in human skeletal muscle, all of your muscles are made up actually of a whole bunch of smaller individual muscle fibers. Think of it like a ponytail. So you have one ponytail, but that's actually made up of hundreds if not thousands of individual muscle fibers, or in the ponytail example, individual hairs. So if I were to take your quadricep, or one of your quadriceps muscles, that individual muscle is made up of hundreds if not thousands of individual muscle fibers. Well, in humans, the fiber type in the muscle is different between each fiber or each cell. So in the case of, say, the quadricep, what we know is actually about half of your fibers are what we call slow twitch, and maybe half of them are fast twitch. That's different from something like your soleus, which is one of your calf muscles. Your, your soleus is actually maybe something more like 80% slow twitch and 20% fast twitch. So if there were 100 total fibers in it, 80 of them would be what we would call fast twitch or slow twitch, and 20 would be fast twitch. All right, so we have a basic understanding of what muscle fiber types are, but let's expand on that a little bit more. So what we can see actually here from, from my high-tech chart is that there are actually three fiber types. So I said fast twitch and slow twitch, but it gets a little bit more complex than that. Starting over here with your first pure type, or what we call your type ones, or your slow twitch. Moving down our continuum, we see our two A's, which are also pure, but then these are now your fast twitch fibers. Then we have a third fiber type, which are your two X's. These are also fast fit twitch, but these are even more fast twitch than your two A's. So you have type ones, type two A's, which are fast twitch, and type two X's, which are really fast twitch. And the two A's are pretty close to the two X's. A little bit different. Now, just like in the rest of the world, it's not quite that easy. What we tend to see actually happen is there are some fibers that are in between these two. So this would be an individual muscle fiber or myofiber, or muscle cell, that is both fast twitch and slow twitch at the same time. Or it could be both fast twitch and mega fast twitch. So this could be something like over here, where you could have one individual muscle fiber that would be one, two A. Again, this is one cell, and it could be half fast and half slow, or 80% slow and 20% faster, or somewhere along the spectrum. It could be over here, or over here. Right? So it would still be a little bit of both. We could have another hybrid over here, again, which could be a 2A, and partially a 2X. Right? We would call these, as I've been mentioning, hybrid fibers. All right, just like your automobile, that's half gas, half electric, these things are half fast, half slow, or half fast, half mega fast, and so we call them hybrids. Now, where this gets really interesting is we don't know the picture entirely, but what we do realize what happens is the more sedentary or inactive you are with your physical activity, the more of these hybrid fibers you get in both cases, hybrid fast, hybrid slow. In fact, what we see happen is we almost never see people have these pure two X's. Almost ever. Whether we're looking at young, old, uh, men, women, strength trained, uh, endurance trained, you name it, we don't ever see this. In fact, the percentage that we see in our lab is something like 0.1%. Maybe less. This is one out of every 1,000 individual fibers is a pure two X. But we see a ton of 2A, 2Xs, especially if you're untrained or even moderately active. Okay, so basically what's happening is we don't know exactly, but we can theorize that as you become less physically trained, your 2As start converting into 2A, 2X. Your 1s start being converted into 1, 2A, 2X. And we don't know exactly why these fibers turn into hybrids. I could guess, but maybe I'll save that for another video. The quick answer is potentially it's sort of saying, you know what, you aren't using us, so you don't know what you want us to do. So we're going to hang out in the middle until you tell us how you want us to function. You want us to be very fatigue resistant, we'll become a type 1. You want us to be very fast, which we'll become a type 2. I don't know, let's guess, and we can talk in more detail later in one of our other segments, maybe our 25 or 55 minute physiology sections.
Okay, so if we become inactive, we gain more of these hybrids. And it actually doesn't matter what we do activity-wise, whether we strength train, do intervals, run, swim, do endurance training. But whenever we work any kind of physical activity, we see the exact opposite. Where now, these start turning back into here. All right, so we see our hybrid 2A, 2X is to be converted into 2A. Again, we don't go to 2X. If those are basically, we know that they're physiologically possible, but extremely rare. We don't gain them with training, we don't lose them really. They're just pretty much not in the picture. Our 2A, 2Xs go into 2A probably. Some of our 1, 2As also probably go into 2A. Or they go into type 1, depending on what we do exactly. Now we've got a lot more to learn about this. We have got very little information on anaerobic athletes, strength trained athletes, power, speed athletes, so we don't know exactly the picture here. More research is needed, but this is really unquestionable. So the last thing we'll, we'll talk about here very quickly is it's, it's really, we can't argue anymore whether or not we can convert either of these hybrids into two legs. Right? We don't see as much conversion into type ones, but we do see it happening, but it's probably less prevalent. So that's your five-minute physiology talking about muscle fiber types in humans.